Welcome to the Car 4 in Hajai, Thailand. And what better place to start in a Thai grocery store than the packaged meat section. Here is a dry, partially dried fish. The black things are crabs. Here's shrimp, uh, dried skate, dried cuttlefish, dried anchovies, all sort of partially dried. These are deep-fried fish maws. They are used, uh, the fish maws are used in soup. Here's partially fermented fish. These guys are especially attractive. And fish balls and raw fish and other deep-fried goodies. Here are mussels. The dried stuff is pounded with spices and to paste, which we'll get to. Here is the fresh fish, uh, grilled saba and cockles and some sort of deep fried fish fin and then various shrimp and other deep fried fish whatnots. They slash them horizontally for, for flavor and marinating and here's sauce. Here are the fresh fish. In the morning they're still flopping. And you pick one up, put it on a tray, and give it to someone. They weigh it and will cut it for you. Throw it in a bag or they'll give it to you whole. In some stores there are hand washing facilities so you can sterilize your fingers after playing with raw fish, but generally not. It's generally fresh enough that you don't even smell fish. Walk station, deep fried fish, and good sushi, surprisingly good. Here's the fresh fruit pineapple and pomelo, that was jackfruit, and coming around here is actual jackfruit. Just imagine these suckers hanging in the jungle. The big ones get up to a, close to 90 pounds, I think. Sliced fruit, watermelon, two types of dragon fruit, pineapple and edamame, and then combo packs with grapes and papaya and more pineapple and on to poultry here are chicken parts these are the big parts uh, quarters and drums and wings and that at the end are carcasses and then here are the giblets and smaller parts all nice and pre-packaged at the end, ducks. Here's the pork, all packed up chunks of whatnot. Pork belly there, really, really good bacon. And then for the packaged pork, it's same sort of stuff, but with premium labeling. Here's intestine and kidney and pork belly. Recognizable loin type steaks. In general they don't do actual steak here, they chop everything into bite-sized bits because no one eats with a knife. You eat with a spoon in your right hand and a fork in your left hand. Feet and tails there on the bottom. Ground pork. chickens in the pork section. And here's heart and kidney and liver. And this is uh, shavings of pork skin and curls of pork skin and strips of pork skin. Yum, yum. Here's corn and deep fried whatnots, followed by, yes, shrimp paste fish paste, horseshoe crab paste, all 
made with dried and fresh and fermented fish pounded in a mortar and pestle with spices and glop until you get these bowls of very, very intense flavor. And we get to the cooked stuff. Here are grilled chickens and ducks and pig legs, uh, deep fried pork, pork rinds only, their intestines, but the same idea, and packages of fried meat. Here's the chicken station with full roasted chicken, whole grilled chicken, chicken ham, and over here sun-dried beef, which is exorbitantly expensive. Here we have the rice section. Had to do it. Rice and rice. In this country there is rice that has been harvested early, middle, and late season from high, middle, and low grind growing areas. It's all gradiated on the amount of water and the amount of sun and the elevation and when it was harvested. Rice here is like wine in France as far as where it came from, when it came from, what it came from. So each of these bags has a different label, of course entirely in Thai, that tells someone who knows all of the information about the rice field, the growing conditions, what year, how old it is, how dry it was, how it was stored, how it was processed, and each bag, each different label here is a distinct brand, a distinct region, a distinct type and taste of rice. Kind of amazing.